Bill Irvin with AboveTopSecret.com. No visit to the desert southwest on the subjects of UFOs would be complete without a chance to speak with Mr. Rainbow Eagle. I enjoyed the conversation immensely. I very much appreciate the mysticism of the Indians, especially here in the desert southwest, and he helps us understand how it relates to the phenomenon of extraterrestrials and UFO visitation. We also had a chance to ask him some really interesting questions about what he thinks about the potential for phenomena happening in the year 2012 and his direct experience with the Mayans and how it relates to the Indian folklore here locally. Enjoy. Well, I'm Rainbow Eagle and uh, I have uh, been given lots and lots of ancient stories and information from various elders from various traditions. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, I walk within a vision given to me by the Creator to uh, be a teacher and an educator and, and bring information where that information is uh, wanted and desired because I think that information can bring a lot more hope and optimism to the future because there's other kinds of things that's uh, presenting a different picture about our future so uh, I'm just uh, making myself available for whatever questions that people want to ask. <laughs> and, and, and what is the, the most important uh, point about, about the, the, this information you have that you're trying to share with people? Well, I think it's uh, a time that uh, we need to look at our philosophy and our spirituality, uh, begin to uh, uh, make choices that's going to uh, bring relationship uh, with each other and relationship with uh, life here in Mother Earth and uh, get ready for relationships with, uh, with the cosmic family. So it's a time of uh, re-evaluating how to look at life and how to speak of life and to uh, house the kind of words that's going to uh, open up to relationships rather than uh, shutting them down. Now, for, for our viewers, when you say cosmic family, I know that's a huge idea. But if you could just summarize, um, uh, what, 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 what is that that you're talking about as far as a cosmic family? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In two minutes, please. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. It means uh, being able to uh, be okay with the fact that there is life out there of some forms. Uh, life that uh, perhaps some of the indigenous people here know that they came from. Uh, also that there's other places uh, that the Creator has made designed for our next growing space, our next life uh, to, to grow within. Uh, uh, so it's that confidence that the, the, it's a big picture. Uh, native people have always had an idea of, of uh, uh, re relatives and life coming from out there yes. and uh, we're reaching a point now where we might be able to have something to say to bring us back into relationship. Yeah, especially especially the all the different tribes here in the southwest that's been really prevalent in them. Uh, a lot of our members uh, were, are aware of you and have given us some questions that they'd that, like to have asked. Um, any of the Native Americans that, that, that you've encountered that you deal with, do they have any, any stories of, of abduction? Uh, there certainly are stories that could be viewed that way, but uh, in uh, pretty much all the stories there is uh, that implication that it's not a forced kind of experience, it's an anticipated where you have uh, you know, a, a, a native woman marrying a star kinds of things, that there is a relationship established uh, reflecting uh, something desired and not something imposed. The balance of that is that there are certain situations where uh, native people have imposed onto boundaries uh, that the space people would de declare as uh, as uh, sacred, right. and so that intrusion would be uh, would require some kind of response from our star relatives, uh, a response that would be different than. Uh, uh, but uh, in most cases, it is an anticipated possibility of relationship, and however that plays itself out. So it's it's much more of a, a of a spiritual event than something to be feared. Uh, that's for sure. Yes. Uh huh. Um, when do your people expect the blue star? Um, 
that, first of all, yeah. that, that's a very direct question. If you could just explain what that is for the people watching the video and then answer the question. Yeah. I would need to know what information is being discussed about the Blue Star. Uh, so it's hard for me to, uh, to know how to res uh, respond uh, to that. I well, believe... well, what is the Blue Star? Well, uh, my uh, awareness is it's a Blue Star Kachina. Uh, coming from the expressions of a particular native person, uh, Robert Morningsky. Yes. Uh, and uh, so uh, uh, I don't know what information people know about that. He's the one that has kind of housed uh, that discussion uh, of a, a time when those who are uh, expected will be coming and that'll be a, kind of a metaphor for uh, for the expected company okay and the information that, that that you've been given and made aware and that's that's discussed amongst your people is there anything that would correlate to uh, sort of the uh, the extravaganza of doomsday information related to the year 2012 that, that we see coming out of uh, supposedly the Mayan civilization in South America right uh, I have sat with Maya and it is a real concern that uh, people with the particular agendas to keep the fear and the doom and gloom uh, uh, philosophy going is that uh, there is certainly a completion of one cycle but the beginning of another cycle. Uh, right, but lots of times the public is not given that kind of information. Um, it is a time when uh, 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 company is going to be coming just like 500 years ago we had company coming and uh, there's some things that uh, we need to anticipate uh, of change and that change can certainly look in the way that some people like to, uh, to house it uh, but it doesn't have to be uh, so whatever is being discussed about 2012 there needs to be a lot more bigger picture and a complete picture rather than just taking pieces for for the agendas of people that want to keep that fear and that doom and gloom agenda. Well, since you've had the blessing and the benefit of sitting with Maya, is there is there anything you could tell the people that that are fearful of the doom and gloom about this event that that might allay their fears or or, or maybe something they can do themselves that might prepare them for it? Okay, first it we need to understand that Mother Earth is holds an awesome female energy, and she is uh, going through a repeating cycle of uh, preparing herself for uh, fertilization and for life uh, and that there's going to be an increased activity between uh, mid this year uh, 2011 through 2012 into 2013 a season of increased activity on the part of mother earth in native traditions what mother earth is going through often reflects how our personal spirituality is going through and so we find the same phenomenon is that we need to now address our personal spirituality and all of the preparation that we need to have for uh, finding personal power just as mother earth is, is kept bringing herself into a personal power position so that both of those uh, uh, conditions can uh, bring a uh, uh, a balance and a stabilization in the future. You bet. All right, well, thank you very much.